strippers and just strip it. Well, know? that's one of the things that leads to. We can't all be to. strippers. No. There's just not enough Especially market. for very long. Right. I mean, you burn out. So I think that, um, you know, we've been inspired because we have this skill that's kind of untapped. It's that we're useless. flying dormant. It's been there. We did all this training. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And so we know yeah. how to do stuff that we ain't doing. We've never actually been able to make a buck on. No. Ever. Well, of course, we would be doing it like we do this, just for the love of it. Um, yeah, we wouldn't but, actually make money. But eventually, the, the hope is that somebody would like us enough to pay us a salary. So or would, just pay our expenses. Yeah, so that we wouldn't have to necessarily work our day job all the time. Uh, or at least get a better day job. Right. Like a day job where you don't have to, like... Do um, work. Yeah. Because yeah. there's a lot of them out there. Yeah. In fact, that was one of my things I was going to say. Because, you know, the man's got all this money to launder, so he, he's got more workers than he needs. So he's, one of his laundering activities is just to pay people to do nothing. Yes. And we all know that. Because I guarantee there is not a single person within our viewing community who does a goddamn thing for a living. Well, I'm, I'm sure say some that. of them like stock grocery store shelves or, you know, work at the convenience exactly. store. Exactly. I but bet half of them work at, like, restaurants or at, like, right. retail. Service for the man. Mm -hmm. It's all just like the man goes, ugh, what can I, what jobs can I make up? To make to pay people this fake goddamn money, right? So I can stimulate my economy. Mm -hmm. And he's come up with a bunch, but it's not enough. It cannot compete. It's never enough. It's well. The thing is, that money making scheme of like a good business mm -hmm. is never can never compete with the cheating or a Rico way of doing it. Yeah. So now I can explain my guaranteed way of making unlimited money. Right. Okay. That's I'm interested in this. Too. Okay. So say there's this is the concept. Okay. But there are oh, a lot of variations. Very bad. You that's have a horse race that's going to happen. Mm -hmm. And I, uh, so you have five horses racing, which isn't yes. accurate. Usually you have more. Oh. You have I like see. twelve, like the disciples. Or more than that, I don't know, really. Because, you know, it's not like I hang out at the horse races. There's not enough of them close by. Uh, you just can't um, interest... Ever since they closed down the Manor Downs, you got to go all the way to damn San Antonio almost to see a fucking race. They don't... People here don't gamble as much as they should. Yeah, there ain't so no, can't, there ain't no casinos can't get or nothing. They shut down all the eight-liners. Bingo is about the only thing you can do. So it's hard for the man in this locality to, to do this scam. But this is one of the scams he runs to make his money. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you have like this many horses. Well, one of them and only one can win. And therein lies the scam. So what you do is you place a bet on every single horse in the race. But you don't pay cash money when you place the bet. You no, just place a marker. Yes. Or a promise to pay the amount. Mm -hmm. Then at some time in the future when the race is held, yeah. one of the horses will win. No matter who has rigged the race, one of the horses must win. Mm -hmm. So, say number three wins. You're mm -hmm. paid out your winnings on number three. Yeah. Whatever the odds are. Some odds, some races will get you more money than other races. Mm -hmm. So, you take your winnings and you pay back your loans or the markers for all of these bets. Yeah. Well, that doesn't, that doesn't do you any good because you'll just break even if the odds are constructed properly, right? Mm -hmm. So the deal is, and this is the way you get your unlimited money, 
is you actually still bet on all these. Take your winnings from three, and you never pay off these markers. So you bet, and you always win. Yes. And some of these play, you know, a lot of money, especially if you can rig the race. So that a long odds horse wins the race more often than a short odds horse or mm -hmm. an even odds. And that's the way you make a lot of money. You basically yeah. can churn this out as often as you can have a race and as large as a bet as you can place. Yeah. With as, lo as large of a multiple of entrance into the bedding that you can accommodate. Right, and, and the reason why it works, I just need to interject, oh, is yeah. because the person doing the betting is the same person who owns the people taking the bets. Yes. So you're basically paying yourself. It's an all, it's all in shop. They even own the horses. Mm -hmm. So they run this scam and it can generate a certain proportion of money on your initial investment. So yeah. say you start with a hundred dollars and you can turn it into like a trillion dollars in a certain yeah. amount of time mm -hmm. using this scam. It's just one of the many. And that's called inflation. Which is why we have a problem today. Yes. Uh, among other reasons. Yeah, but that's one of the scams. And it's a way you can work it um, if you're the man. Okay, so I am chopping vegetables for my Israeli Can I eat salad. one of these? Yes, this is a cucumber. Now, if you are kind of a purist or a snob or you just don't, you know, want seeds and, and the skin in your, in your salad, you can uh, cut the cucumber lengthwise and scoop out the seeds with a spoon. Just kind of rake them into the garbage or the compost bin. And then you can also peel the outside of it if you don't want the skin. But I think that, you know, you should eat, eat the whole thing because that's what an animal would do. And, um, you know, there's fiber and benefit to be had from the skin and the, the peel and all that stuff. And there's also something to be said for any of the chemicals that are still in it. You're kind of acclimatizing or evolving yourself to become mm -hmm. adaptive. I mean, humans really are still alive because we've been able to adapt all the bullshit that's been thrown at us. Yes. Which is why the man is just like frightened now. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, we don't really have to eat. We don't have to sleep. We don't have to be treated right. Right. Um, we can basically live off our own production. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's really, we evolved, I think, when that uh, meteor came down and made that volcano explode in Toba. 75,000 years ago, we was almost wiped out. So what we had to do, there was like it wiped out all the vegetation. So we couldn't mm -hmm. eat no grain or nothing. And it wiped out all the animals because they couldn't eat the grain, right? right? So we couldn't eat the animals. So we was left to just fucking and eating our babies. Yeah. And that's what made us evolve our really good smarts. But you know, 75,000 years ago, people didn't eat grains. They didn't act, I mean, they only ate what they could gather in the right. wild. And they actually ate mostly protein. And, and if you, you know, plants, whatever they could find. I think they probably just ate their babies when they died. Yeah, maybe so. And like, you know, your dog when it died. It's the same thing. Same idea that we do today. I mean, it's the same bullshit. It's just the man is trying to work this trip on you. Mm-hmm. About whatever it is. Right. To make you think you're like not good enough. You're not as good as the man. Yeah. Okay, so but he doesn't really even exist. He's just like a, he's a, a fiction. phantom shadow figure. Yes. You know, I was looking in the paper today, and um, the British have come out with a report saying the Queen doesn't cost all that much, but there's this other I group. I always pull that out. I yeah, said, no, 
tell they us say that. that every time they feel threatened because yes. they own all the shit. Yes, yeah, so the queen is doing her PR. Oh, 